They're iconic. Historic. And a unique part of San Francisco. In a town known for its steep hills, cable cars have been an important element of the city's transportation system for more than 100 years. The system consists of three lines covering much of downtown San Francisco. The San Francisco Municipal Railway handles operation, while Market Street Railway, a local nonprofit, helps with restoration and preservation. What makes the cars so special is that they're completely mechanical. In fact, they are the last manually operated cable car system in the world. Unlike electric streetcars, San Francisco's cable cars use an underground cable to climb the city's hills. The car's driver, or grip man, uses a mechanical grip to latch onto a cable that runs under the street. Conventional streetcars just wouldn't have enough traction to make it up the steep grades. The cables under the tracks run at a constant nine and a half miles per hour. Four huge electric motors here at the powerhouse keep everything moving. Employees keep a close eye on it all to make sure nothing goes wrong. More than seven million people ride the cable cars every year, and they rank as one of the city's most visited attractions, along with the Golden Gate Bridge, Alcatraz Island, and Fisherman's Wharf. But the cable cars are not just an important part of San Francisco's history. They also proved to be a small piece of the American story when, in 1964, they became the first moving National Historic Landmark. San Francisco's cable cars have truly withstood the test of time. Technology is constantly changing, but on these hills, there's one thing that will stay the same. These historic machines will never stop climbing. <laughs>